Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, for those that are small businesses and that could be affected because maybe you've been using the crowd uh, strike services and all of that has been, you know, uh, going on to your system and you're running Windows, of course, and you got to crash the blue screen of that due to the crowd strike problem. Uh, the fix is uh, quite easy to actually do. What you need to do is make sure that you go into safe mode. So how do you go into safe mode? Usually, if your computer boots is in a boot loop, it will eventually f uh, uh, allow you or give you an option. It's going to say, well, it seems that it's not working. Um, we need to, you know, can, do you want to go to the recovery environment? And what happens is in there, you'll have the safe mode available. Once you're in safe mode, you go onto your file explorer. In the file explorer, you will go to your C drive. In the C drive, you will go into Windows. You will then go into System 32, which is close. System 32. And the system 32, you will go into drivers folder. So the drivers folder is here. And in here, what you want to do is um, click on the CrowdStrike directory. So I'm not part of that system, so I don't have it. But here in the folders, you will have CrowdStrike. Go into that folder. In that folder, you will want to locate a file that matches C-0000000 291 asterisk.sys. You want to find that file. Uh, so you go down and you'll have one that's, uh, I'll write the exact uh, name and the description below to help you out. You delete that file. Uh, C dash zero 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 two nine one. Um, it's longer than that, but if you search it with the uh, the star or the the um, asterisk to find it, you'll see that there's a file there that has that name. Dot sys. You delete it, and then you just boot normally, and things are going to be back to normal. Uh, CrowdStrike has fixed the problem. They issued a rollback and then a new um, update that fixes the problem. The other thing that a lot of people are doing, for those that are stuck, uh, there are companies that have mentioned that they restart the PC, and some of them have said they've restarted the PC up to 10 to 15 times, and at some point, it starts, and it works. And then, of course, when it does work, it will roll back and will fix the problem, and after that, you should be okay. So um, if uh, you have a small business, if you're looking at videos online, as can I fix it myself without having to pay the tech guy? Uh, that's the way that two things that you can try. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.